guys, I am the Anime Uprising, and today, I want to try something a little bit different. I've realized most anime YouTubers make videos without filming with the camera, so I thought I'd try it too. So thus, we have a video about what I'll be watching in the new coming year of 2018. So without further ado, let's begin. So I know this, this was made before 2018, so this was pretty old, but I thought I would make this, this into a video because I wanted to put this out anyway. So you can see what I'm watching now. So let's go! Of course we have Overlord Season 2. I honestly don't think I have to explain this one because it's, you know, a very popular anime. So if you if you don't know about it, what it is or whatever, I'll put the synopsis of the first season on the screen here. Feel free to pause. But there you go. Do I need any other reason to watch it besides that I enjoyed the first season? So on to the next one! Seven Deadly Sins Season 2. Again, this season is very well known, so I don't feel the need to explain the plot, since most of you already know it already. But with, for the people who don't know it, I'll put it on the screen here. Feel free to pause again. I love season one, so I can't wait to see the next season. And yes, I'm saying this is season two, not season three, because I refuse to believe that the little OVA type thing is season two. So, huh. Next one. Now I'm watching Death March Kawaii Hajime Ryu Isekai Kyo So Kyoku. Frick, that's a hard name to say, but here we go. Yeah, yeah, another Isekai anime. Good way to start off 2018. Woohoo! But in all seriousness, I really do like this genre. So Death March, Kara Hajime Tsukaha Kurosaku, blah blah blah, seems like a good anime to me. And maybe for you too. Here's a synopsis. Let's go. 29 year old programmer Suzuki Ichiro finds himself transported into a world of fantasy RPG. Within the game, he's a 15 year old named Saito, or Sato. At first, he thinks he's dreaming, but his experiences seem very real due to Due to the power he possesses with a limited use, he ends up wiping out a limited an army of frick. He ends up wiping out an army of lizard men and becomes a high-level adventurer. Sato decides to hide his level and plans to live peacefully and meet new people. However, developments in the game's story such as the deep return of the Demon King may cause nuisance to Sato's plans. See, doesn't it sound cool? Well, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for the main op, for a, a sucker for an op main character. <laughs> okay, next we have Beatless, which, by the way, I haven't started watching yet. So let's. I want to read this to you guys, but I have no, I have no real opinion yet because I haven't started watching it yet. So let's go, Beatless. This anime sounds a little interesting. Like the name should at least draw you in for the first episode, right? Right? Well, maybe it's just me, but nonetheless, I'm going to watch it. Here's the synopsis, I believe, in that smile. Oh, here's the synopsis. I believe in that smile, even if you don't have a soul. 2105 AD, Japan. The humanoid android knows Hie becomes, became a part of people's lives and was handling this thing, the things humans could and couldn't do. And do it. Endu Arato, unlike his friends, Kenko and Ryo, who hate Ie, felt sympathy for Ie, which are supposed to be just, just objects. One night, Arato suddenly gets assaulted by mysterious cherry, falling cherry blossoms that make Ie and machines run havoc. Will the cornered ha ha Arato be saved by the mysterious Ie Lassia? See, sounds at least a little bit interesting, right? Next one. Since I heard about this from the anime man, Joey, yeah, well, I didn't learn it from him, I was like, hmm, this seems interesting, so I checked out the manga, and I was like, wow, this is good. I don't mind your read at all, in fact. That's why I decided to read it, in the first place. And now I hear that there's going to be an anime series, so I'm very excited. Anyways, let's go on to the synopsis. Fashionable Yuzu imagine Imagined the first day at her new school she transferred to after her mother's new marriage a bit differently. She didn't know it would be an ultra strict, conservative girls' school, so instead of a sweet high school romance, she butts heads with the stern student council president May, 
turns out to be your new stepsister. And she has to learn that hate and attraction are not often that far apart. Alrighty, that's it. Sure, I have been around that convention, but I think, I think I mentioned the ones I'm excited for the most for this season. Okay. So yeah, hopefully enjoy this video. Again, this is part of the new format. This has a lot of new stuff to it. This is really sort of weird-ish because it's like, I'm not in front of a camera, I'm just talking to a microphone. So it's a bit weird. Uh, I'm hoping it's alright with you guys, but hopefully you enjoyed it. But then again, like I said before, please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content from this guy right here. And I'll see you all next time.